to, to say that uh, that uh, we did not go in in 2013 or in 2014, and Russia chose to go in to support Assad, mainly because Assad was very weak at the time, but mostly also because the appearance then was that Daesh might have been the entity that might overthrow him, and that wouldn't have served anybody's interests. So in effect, um, what has happened is that the opposition obviously has been um, damaged by virtue of the intensive, uh, I think, uh, savage bombing that's been taking place out of all standards of, of, of warfare, in my judgment. Um, and the result is that, yes, a heavy price has been paid by the people of Syria, but mostly also by the opposition and by Nusra. We have been united in our efforts against Daesh and, and Nusra recently. We've had some meeting of the minds about how to try to deal with that, but we haven't been able to yet finalize an agreement which would save Aleppo and provide a ceasefire. We're still talking about it. We're still in conversations. Uh, it is still possible that we could achieve an understanding. Now, what is the resolution that we have pursued with respect to Syria? It's a diplomatic solution. From day one, President Obama made the decision, and we have all the military, our military concurred, there's no military solution to Syria. Even if Russia succeeds in driving the opposition out of Aleppo, even if Aleppo is finished as a contested strategic goal for any party in this war, this war does not end. Everybody here needs to understand that this war will not end without a political understanding about the long-term future of how the opposition is integrated into the governance of Syria. And that can only happen in Geneva through some kind of negotiation. Now, we are prepared to accept a negotiation in which there is a transition. Assad is part of that transition. Ultimately, there's an election, and the people of Syria make a decision about the future leadership of their country. And how you get there depends on what happens in these next weeks and months in terms of uh, what arrangement is made with Russia and Assad and the Iranians in that regard.